mom and dad are one of those rarities in life, and it's it's something that you, you probably rarely ever find, and when you do, it's extremely special. I mean, we've we've truly been blessed growing up. They've shown us firsthand um, how you build a marriage, how you build a family, uh, how you keep the family close together, raise them the right way, teach them right from wrong. Um, it's you don't see too many couples in this day and age stay together for 30 plus years like they have. It's it's very special, and um, we're just we're blessed to have had them as our parents to to show us how to live the right way. So I know you don't know much about my family other than what we're going through right now. My dad is the rock. Like, he weathers any storm, no matter what comes our way as a family. Like, he just It's as if we can break against him over and over and over again, and he's just going to be good. He's going to be there tomorrow. My mom is the glue, so she's the bond, like the foundation of our family. She just holds us all together in ways that you don't even know are possible, and it's because of her just infinite optimism. Like to her, every day is a new day, and life is good, and all you gotta do is be happy. And she's, she just breathes that into us. She's contagious. When we were in the hospital those first couple weeks, we'd have uh, friends and a lot of her former volleyball players come up and just talk about basically how she that she was like their mom. She was always taking care of them. Mom's one of those people who kind of makes everybody feel better. Um, you, if you're having a bad day and you see mom, she puts a smile on your face. Um, she would always give you the biggest hug. It seems like everybody I talked to, both before and, and now especially after the accident, um, they always are like, oh, those, those Julie hugs, and, and that's so true, is, is that a Julie hug kind of changed your whole day or your week or your year. Um, My older brother, Jamie, is the quiet one. Um, he's the silent leader. He walks his talk, so he lets his actions speak for him. My younger brother is the miracle child because he was not expected and is thus seven years younger than myself. And... As such, he believes it's his job to make everyone laugh and to keep everyone's spirits up all the time. So he makes lots of funny noises and just marches into a room as himself, Mighty Jake, and does his thing. So that makes me the lucky one, because I easily have the most amazing family in the world. January 25th of this year, 2015, uh, definitely turned out to be the worst day of my life. I expected, as I drove over there, I expected it to be something minor, um, something something minor that you know was going to be okay and get taken care of. Just it was kind of one of those sites where life changes instantly, and you learn so quickly what's important, what's not important, um, and you never forget that moment. Uh, my perspective uh, definitely changed after that, realizing what's important in life and all, all these things that we get upset about on a daily basis and they really don't mean anything. It's, it just comes down to, I mean, as long as we're healthy and, and living life, that's, that's all that matters. It's really easy to feel alone when you go through something like this. In reality, when you kind of take a step back and start to see the overwhelming amount of people who just magically enter your life at the right moment, and, and these are family members, these are friends, these are people that just literally come out of the woodwork to support you during that time, that you suddenly realize that there are plenty of people with you through it, so that you just start to feel better, because no matter what you're about to go through and no matter how long it takes, you know that you'll have people. And I think what's even more amazing about that is complete strangers or people that you have just really remote connections to are part of that extended family that is magically there. So I wouldn't describe the Texas Rangers as my dad's employer or as our family's favorite baseball team. They are obviously those things, but I would describe them as our family in the way that they've just wrapped themselves around us, in the way that you all have gathered in this room and heard our, listen to our story and are wanting to send prayers, positive thoughts, the fundraiser that you're doing, all of those things are going, going towards giving 
giving us our family back, our whole family back, making us complete again, giving me my mom back. Really all we can say is thank you a million times over, and if we were ever able to return the favor in some way, shape, or form, we would do it in a heartbeat. Hi everyone, thank you so much for allowing me into this special night. Your prayers, thoughts, and wishes mean an awful lot to me and the family. Julie's battling. We're heading to California this week for a special neuro center. We're very optimistic about what's going to happen for her down there. Jamie, your daily reports are a bright part of my morning. They keep me in touch and make me laugh. They remind me of how special the organization is. From JD, through the coaches, the players, the fans, Everyone is so special. I very much appreciate that. It's pretty cool when your general manager is texting and emailing you every other week to see how you're doing, to see how your wife is doing. We're pretty blessed. I sure would like to meet and thank each one of you in person. And I'm thinking maybe October 27th in Arlington. Thank you.